Hey, everybody. Welcome to week two of our Spring Life Group session. This past Sunday, we continued our year-long theme entitled Be the Church, where together we're talking about who we are called to be as the Church of Jesus Christ. And so throughout 2018, we're talking about how we can be that church that we're called to be. And on Sunday, we began a brand new series of messages called Jonah, in which we're taking a look at the book of Jonah and actually examining it verse by verse in order to discover what this story has to say to us as a church family. And in Jonah chapter 1 and verses 1 through 6, we begin the story of Jonah by talking about and examining how God has called this man to go to a wicked city called Nineveh in order to proclaim a certain message. But of course, Jonah wants nothing to do with this, and he begins to flee from the presence of the Lord. And in fact, we read of that uh, that phrase two different times within uh, a particular verse of Scripture. And I want to read that too. This is Jonah chapter 1 and in verse 3. We read this. It says, But Jonah rose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. He, so he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. What I find fascinating about that verse is that it's two different times that phrase, fleeing from the presence of the Lord, is found. And so that means that this is a very important phrase that is found within the book of Jonah, and it talks about how far Jonah wanted to flee, how he wanted to leave God and go as far away as he could. In fact, one of the questions that you're going to examine tonight within your groups is a question all about how far that really was. Because question number three talks about the distance between uh, the city of Nineveh and Tarshish. And so as you examine that, I want you to just stop and think about how far this man was willing to go in order to flee from the presence of the Lord. Well, as we think about this story and begins to apply it to our lives, I think we can all think of times in our life in which we have fled from the presence of the Lord. And so within your groups, I encourage you to not only think about this story and all the details that are found within these opening six verses, but also begins to apply this to your own life and think about the times in your life, as I think about the times in my life in which I have chosen to turn away from God and to flee from him, thinking that I could get away from his presence. But as we're going to see as this story continues, this is a bad move on Jonah's part. Now, before you enter into those questions, I want to uh, once again encourage you on a couple of different uh, fronts. First of all, uh, within uh, .info, you have the questions that you need for tonight's study. And so if you or someone within your group does not have them, they can simply go to .info, uh, click on the Discover link, and there they'll find uh, the questions for uh, this week's uh, Life Group session. Also, I want to uh, remind you to uh, fill out um, and let us know, I should say, uh, who's attending with you. Last week, we asked you to uh, to send an email to steve at yourfountain.org in order to let us know who's attending your groups. And this week, we're going to ask you to do that again. We just want a record of your attendance, and so we want to know who is a part of your group. With those things in mind, I hope that you enjoy your time uh, within your life group uh, this week. And we'll see you on Sunday.